So when I'm making these sea caddies, what I'm going to try, what I do is uh, I don't put a bottom in them, and I, um, at least initially, I don't throw them with a bottom in there, because what I want to do is alter the cylinder to a point where it's either oblong or square or some other shape other than just being round on the wheel. So in order to do that, you need to, first of all, get some kind of an idea of what kind of diameter bottom you want. And if you're using, you know, four or five pounds of clay, you're going to get sort of a two slice toaster size piece. So what I'm going to do is go straight down to the wheel head or to within about maybe 16th of an inch of the wheel head so water doesn't get underneath. I leave a little tiny bit of clay in here because if I'm putting water on here and I'm throwing the water, if I keep putting water in here, it seeps underneath the ring here. And as I'm making a pull, it'll pull it right off the wheel. So this way, I know that I have really good suction that's holding the clay down to the, down to the wheel head. I'm not going to get any moisture underneath there, and I can, I can make some aggressive pulls without tearing it up. One of the things I do with these, since I'm going to attach a slab to the very top and to the bottom, is I leave this lip pretty thick, and in the bottom here too, I leave a kind of a flange that comes down to the bottom so that when I attach a slab, I have some way to attach it and then go back and trim it out. And I can just cut what's left of the clay in there out and make another square one. So I use a deflocculated slip to join these. It's basically my throwing slip that was really, really thick. It was like thick peanut butter when I first started. And I added a tiny bit of soda ash, maybe a half a teaspoon or less of soda, maybe a quarter teaspoon of soda ash to about a cup of slip. And this stuff was really thick before, but when you add the soda ash, it liquefies it and it makes it um, wetter, but without adding water. So I find this to be like sort of like a welding slip with clay. And then you can just take, just put a little hole in the side like that. Yeah, you get a slight curve to the top of that just by adding a little bit of air to the inside. And then you can go back and play around a little bit more with it. And one thing you have to remember is when this gets leather hard and starts to shrink, you have to go back and let the air out. Because it'll, if it shrink, if you let it get shrink too, too long, it will, um, you'll get a crack in the side because the air just gets it, just shrinks and it, it blows out a seam. 